What's up, YouTube? This is going to be a guide on how to use Zacian and Zacian Crown in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, let me know about in the comment section of the video. If you enjoy these guys, drop a like there and let's get into it. So Zacian is an incredibly good Pokemon. So we're going to go over all the movesets. It can go in singles, doubles, all the formats. And we're going to do some meme sets. And we're even going to have a look at uh, Zacian non-crowned as well. So let's have a look at the crown set to begin with. Now this Pokemon is so good. Like it's attack stat, it's speed, it's, it's typing is crazy. So Fairy and Steel is very, very good. Um, it's got good bulk and it learns... Pretty much all the moves it really needs to get here. So Zacian Crown can actually run a variety of Terra types as well. I'm going to go over the ones that I think are the best. And I'll go over some counters to Zacian and some teammates as well. Funnily enough, a lot of the counters make good teammates too. So Zacian Crown gets its Sword Dance, which is very, very, very good. Now, one thing to note in Scarlet and Violet, uh, I did do a Zamazenta guide earlier on from this, but like Zamazenta, uh, Interpret Sword uh, did actually get nerfed somewhat. Uh, so instead of swapping it in, and say you swap it out and swap it back in, it's not going to get its plus one anymore. So it only works one per battle. So you swap it in, gets it plus one and attack for Interpret Sword. If you swap it out and swap it back in, it's no longer going to get that plus one. So you really need to think when you're going to actually swap it in. I know it has Sword Dance already, but to make the most of it, swap it in at the right time. So don't leave with it or something like that. So I would be swapping it in mid to late game when you know the coast is clear and you've got a good chance of setting a Sword Dance up or just you know sweeping through the rest of the team. So that would be my advice on... Uh, how to handle the Interpret Sword uh, nerf there. So uh, the item's going to be Rusted Sword putting in its crowned, uh, crowned state. And we've got on this one fairly standard EVs uh, for singles and for doubles as well. We've got uh, Max Attack and Max Speed Jolly Nature. Works fine. Last little bit in Special Defense or Defense, whatever you want. So we've got Sword Dance, uh, great Behemoth Blade, very, very good move, of course. Uh, we've got Play Rough, uh, which is a great Fairy-type move uh, there. It is a little bit shaky on the accuracy, but still very, very good. And we've got Terror Blast here as well. So I want to say I'd either go Terror Blast or I'd go Sacred Sword. Both of those moves are very, very good, uh, as you can get walled by Steel-type Pokemon and stuff like that. So... Just bear that one in mind. If you're going to go with the Terra Blast, you want to be able to hit Steel-type Pokemon, at least neutral. Now, as I mentioned, there are a couple of uh, moves you could actually... Uh, sorry, Terrors you could give it. So I've given it Water Terra. The reason I like this is, uh, you know, Fire Types do come in there and you can go Terra Blast Water and hit them, you know, really, really hard, which is very, very nice. I like that uh, surprise factor that it can have there. Uh, another one you could run on there uh, is Flying as well. That's not a bad one. So you've got Terra Flying. And also, you don't even have to run Terra Blast. Maybe you just want the type advantage or the surprise type to do it as well. So you don't have to run that. You could pop on another move like Sacred Sword on there too. Uh, another one you could run would be Ground. I don't mind Ground on there either. That's, uh, that's pretty good. And you could also run, I'm trying to think, another, a fire would be, wouldn't be would be bad too. Because you could, you know, a fire type comes in there, which does happen a lot. Um, and you could just go to Terra Fire. So that would work nice. And actually this, just thinking about it, I'd say Terra Fire would probably be one of the best ones. Because it gives you the best coverage. So you're going to be able to go Terra Fire against a Steel type. You're going to be able to resist a fire type move coming your way. And you've got Play Rough and Behemoth Blade for coverage. So that's not bad at all. Uh, Terra Water's not bad as well. I, I I think there's some pretty good ones. You could um you could go Terra Steel as well if you really really want to you know slay with that uh that Behemoth Blade. That's another option too. Um so yeah you got about five Terras there that I would probably think of the best. Um you could go Terra Fairy as well, but I don't really think it's worth it to be honest. Like if you're gonna I don't, I don't really like just having Terra a Fairy. I quite like having that Steel. Like, why would you get rid of Steel typing for? It's quite good on it. So I wouldn't probably go with that. And Play Rough itself isn't that kind of... It's not that reliable. So I would go for that. Um, so let's say, for example, you did have Terra Fire. I'll just put one on there. You could 
You could also, or you didn't have Terrify, you could have like Sacred Sword too. That's always very, very handy against like uh, bulky boosting Pokemon because it ignores the stat changes too, which is very, very unique. And it also allows it to hit uh, any Steel types too, which, uh, you know, Behemoth Blade and Play Rough would definitely struggle against. So you could do that. Um, you could try with fighting, but you're kind of, you're kind of getting rid of your good, really good typing for that. So I probably wouldn't terror type fighting. If anything, I'd just go maybe a surprise type like fire, um, flying or water or something like that, which would be good. Um, yeah, so that's a definitely an option you could, uh, you could go for there for Zacian Crown. Very, very good Pokemon. Uh, you could run this set in singles, doubles. Whatever rule set you're playing uh, with Zacian will work for sure. Uh, next one I've got here is it's a little, it, it's kind of similar um, as you can see, but we've got Behemoth Blade, Sacred Sword, Play Rough, and Imprison. Now you could run this in singles as well. I really, really like the move Imprison, right? Because if you know, if you're especially if you're running a sort of, um, it depends on what rule set you're running, right? But if it's you know, allowing legendaries or whatever like that, Zacian is absolutely going to be used, or it's a high chance of it being used. So. With Imprison, you can completely and utterly shut down a opposing Zacian for sure. Like, they're gonna, they're absolutely gonna run at least Behemoth Blade and Prey off. Most of the time, they're gonna run those moves. Um, you can have other variants I've seen with Crunch as well. That's a, that's another one I've seen. Um, so, you, you, you've got those those uh, kind of options there for uh, for sure, whether they run that or not. So, with Imprison, uh, they won't be able to use any moves that you know. So, it basically. Yeah, they, they can't do anything to you at all. So it's it's a nice little counter for the opposing same Pokemon. It is very gimmicky, though. That's the only thing you have to... You're giving up a move slot there. So whether you're running that in singles or doubles, you are giving up the move slot. So that's something to think about. But I I think that could have a chance of working. Uh, some other doubles moves that it gets here. It does get Quick Guard. That's another option. Um, it also gets... I, I'd probably just bump off Protect there. That could be an option you want to go for. So you got Crunch or Sacred Sword. That's a, another good one uh, to have on there. Um, so that could be something you go for. You got Sword Dance as well. Like, I, I've just seen, seen straight up Sword Dance sets too. So Sword Dance. Um, so there's lots of different options. Um, another one you could run, like if you're struggling maybe against something like Dondozo. You've got Wild Charge as well. Um, I know that it does have um, like you know stuff like unaware, but you still do some very very good damage to it for sure. That's another option there if you're getting uh, you know kind of like walled. I will give some counters and some you know team uh, team stuff in a second too. So yeah, that's uh, another type. I've got fairy on here. Like you could you could probably run all the other ones that I mentioned there. I was put, uh, I I'd probably put like fire on there. Fire. Water, steel, flying, ground. They're all very, very good. It's more dependent on what's on your team too and you know what your team is lacking or needs a little bit. So I would say it's depending on that more than one being the best one overall, you know? Because Terra Type is a very surprise mechanic. You never know who's going to use it and when it's going to get used. So that would be... Uh, it's it's kind of close, similar to this, this sort of set here. But I, I love that in prison. I think it's really, really cool. Okay, this one's a bit of a more of a gimmicky set. Let's have a look at this. I'll quickly do this. It's a special Zacian. It is terrible on the special side. Definitely a meme set. So we've got 80 base power. So with 80 base uh, special attack, we, we're going to need a lot in there. So I've given that modest max special attack and max speed. We've got Russell Sword as the item. And we've got Moonblast. Le at least it's Stab. And we've got Steel Beam. So Steel Beam is going to hit the hardest. It also actually gets Air Slash, which is really, really interesting too. And I've given this one Terra Blast Ground. So there you go. A, uh, a Pip Knight special just for you there. A special Zacian. I don't think anyone's going to run this. But if you want to run some memes and you're, you're mucking around, you want to try something different, there you go. Now, let's have a look at Zacian uh, non-crowned. Because there is a little bit of niche for this. But there's, there's not much niche. I, I think that there's no real reason for you to run this. Uh, over Zacian Crown. It's just better. Like the stat difference. So you've got an attack set of 150 versus 120. That's a lot. And then you look at its speed. It's like 148, 138. So even like even faster there. So that's the uh, the two stats differences for sure there. But uh, especially its attack. That's a huge stat. And it's, it's a little bit slower as well. So uh, there you go. So that's the differences there. Um, I've given this one choice span. You could run Choice Band or you could go Sword Dance. There's an option there. So you've got Play Rough, Close Combat, Crunch, and Terra Blast Steel. I think with the Fairy, uh, Mono Fairy typing there, 
That'd be quite good because, say, you're weak to poison and steel. Well, steel's great because you're going to have a Terra Steel. They're going to use a poison type move. Oh, it's not going to affect you. Or they go for a steel type move and it's not going to be very effective. So that's quite a... I'd say that's the best Terra type to go on there. Um, you could have a steel type move to back it up a little bit if you don't want, I'd say, crunch as I get Iron Head. Yeah, you could have Iron Head on there if you wanted, like, a steel to make the most of that. Or you could have Terra Blast as well. So there are, like, multiple options depending on, like, you know, what you want and that sort of thing. Uh, just put crunch back on there. Uh, EVs, I gave that one max speed and max attack. Basically, Zacyon is always going to run max attack and max speed. And let's just try to, like, live certain things. But then again, you're, like, you're losing out in speed and extra attack, so... Mostly people are going to run those um, straight 252 in both of them, whether it be singles or doubles and stuff like that. Um, you, you could experiment a little bit, but I feel like it runs uh, best as just like super hyper offensive, right? So that's a choice band set. You could go a variant of... Oh, uh, let's get rid of Crunch. You could go Sword Dance as well, but I'd be inclined then to give it Lumberry because it might get burned and that would be uh, very, very detrimental for sure. So this... Like these ones, Interpret Sword, you need to swap it in at the right time and Sword Dance. Whether you're running this or any of these uh, other sort of um, less meme, or meme sort of sets there. So that would be what i do. The next set we got here is a, a Salty Flinching set. So a couple of Pitwright specials here. Then I'm going to go for some counters and some, uh, obviously, some teammates and stuff like that and more discussion. So this is a Sword Dance set. We've got Sword Dance. I've given all the flinching moves. We've got Bite for a 30% chance flinch. Terra type Dark is kind of interesting on there. So we're going to boost up the Bite. And then we've got Psychic Fangs for any fighting type Pokemon that would either be scared of Windows Fairy. But when it's Dark, they'll come in there and you go for Psychic Fangs for super effective. And then you've got Iron Head as well for more flinching. So you've got two moves of flinching, 30% uh, chance of flinch. And to pop on a little bit of salt there, we've got the Bright Powder on top of that. Max Attack and Max Speed, Jolly Nature. When you're dealing with flinching moves, you always want to be running a Speed Nature, or a Positive Speed Nature for sure. So, very, very gimmicky set there, but a bit of fun. Last, speaking of which, this is absolutely terrible. I wanted to do a Special Trash Zacyon, a non-crown. So, we've got Max Special Attack and Max Speed, Modest Nature. Kind of similar to the other one because it wasn't much. Let's be real, it's very, very barren there. So, we've got Air Slash, Hyper Voice. We've got Throat Spray there to increase its special attack. And we've got Steel Beam. And we've got Moon Blast as well. So we've got Stab Moon Blast. And we've got uh, Terra Type Normal for Hyper Voice. And you might be able to get some surprise KOs there. But I, I don't think it's going to be hitting super, super hard. Especially if you're running uh, versus like other legendary Pokemon. Or you know, you're playing singles and the, those sort of formats there. So a little bit of a fun set there. Let's discuss some counters now and teammates. So I'll just remove a couple of these sets. Now, basically, when you're using Zama, uh, Zacyon, not Zama Zena, they're very, very similar, you're pretty much going to be running something like this, or uh, something along along these lines. Another good move here as well is, is Sub, because that allows you to get a free sword dance up as well. So that would be another suggestion there if you don't want to run Sacred Sword or, you know, whatever you're doing there. But anyway, um, I digress. So that's the Zacyon. Let's go over a couple of... Let's do some counters as well and, and, and teammates. So if I wanted to counter a Zamazenta, um, I'd say like stuff like... Not Grookey. Groudon. Groudon's got some very, very big defense. So it's going to struggle a bit against Groudon due to its base defense. I'm not saying like Groudon wouldn't be able to repeatedly swap into it, but it still would be a problem initially. Um, so I would say Groudon would be a good one. Uh, like physical, I'd say very, very bulky physical walls. Um, actually, Skelly Dirge would be another, I think. of. Now, the reason I say Skelly Dirge, unless you're packing Crunch on there, it's going to really struggle because uh, Behemoth Blade is resisted, you know, play, uh, play rough. Uh, that, that's, and it's also got Unaware as well. So every every Skeletor basically runs Unaware um, unless you're running a meme set. So that's going to be a good, good counter for it. Unless it's running Crunch or like uh, like a Terror Blast Water. That could be a reason to run there if you're really worried about Skeletor. So that's another way to get around it. Or Ground, you know, Terror Blast, Terror Water or Terror Ground. So... I'm just telling you, like, some counters and ways to get around the counters, too. So, Skeledurge. Uh, another one might be uh, Corviknight. 
That's another one. Corviknight always counters a lot of Poker 1 due to its bulk and typing there. So it, it, I don't think it can really... It can't really do much to Zaceon, but it can stall it out. It might be annoying like... Uh, a roost, it might be an annoying roost and iron defense uh, set there with body press. It could become a real pain, so that's another counter uh, to there. Unless you're packing something, another move it can run is wild charge. That's very, very good because that can counter Corvite. Also, another one that would be annoying would be Toxapex. So that's where wild charge can come in and be useful there too. But if you're not running wild charge, uh, Toxapex is going to be a, a definite pain there for sure. Now, apart from speedy, uh, sorry, defensive wall, speedy Pokemon. I know it's a very fast Pokemon, but there are a couple of Pokemon out there which can give it a bit of trouble. And let's go with, I'd say Cal Calyrex. Calyrex Shadow Rider, that could be a bit of a problem uh, for sure, especially if it's snowballed uh, you know, with its as, uh, as one. So it's got a lot of special attack boosts up there. With 150 base speed, it's going to outpace you by two base, and that's going to be a, a bit of a problem there. Can you know, kind of sweep through your team. Uh, so that's a bit of a problem. Uh, another one you have to watch out for is Kyogre. Now, when I say Kyogre, specifically I'm talking about Choice Scarf Kyogre. That could be a problem. You know, Water Spouts, anything like that could be an issue. Um, some other ones. Trying to think off the top of my head here. It's, how about it? Uh, I'm thinking Eternatus. So Eternatus as well. I know it's not quite as fast, but it can uh, it can resist a, a fair bit of stuff there, and it could just, it could just be generally a pain in the, a pain in the backside with its good bulk as well. So Eternatus could be another one there as well. Not not so not so much like it resists its play rough. Um, that could be annoying that resisting and it might be able to resist like wild charge and sacred sword and stuff like that too so that can be a little bit of a pain there too uh i'm trying to think of some other ones there i think i've mentioned pretty much all the good counters that i can think of and there might be a couple of other ones but that's all i can think of at the moment off the top of my head i think that's pretty much all of them oh another one that's a bit of a gimmick i i i, I know You've got Quagsire. Now, Quagsire does resist a bit. I think there's better counters for it than Quagsire, but I just wanted to mention this because it's, like, it's not bad with Unaware because it does resist a lot of its moves. The only thing it's got to watch out for is maybe like uh, Sacred Sword or or even, even Close Combat. Close Combat's quite a good move on there as well. Um, I don't mind using Close Combat. I, I like Sacred Sword too because it doesn't drop your defenses and... It does ignore those defensive boosts, but you wouldn't like to swap it into close combat. So, Quagsire is sort of like, eh, it's okay. It's not that bad, but it's, it's not super... There's it's better counters out there, which I uh, you know, I've already uh, mentioned there. As for teammates, well, it's funny because a lot of those Pokemon the Metro encounters would work well as, as teammates. So, so we got uh, Calyrex Shadow. I, I, that'd be a great teammate too, for sure. It's just a faster Pokemon, so you can deal with opposing Calyrexes too. Uh, Kyogre, that's another good one as well. And Eternatus. So there's quite a, a, a quite a good one there. Eternatus, you've got... You can swap into any of those um, those fire-type moves and stuff like that because that's what it's mostly weak to. Has to watch out for ground, though. That's about the only uh, thing I would say there. But that uh, that's gives you a pretty good rundown on how to get around it, what teammates to use there, singles, doubles... Uh, if you've got any other sets, let me know about it, of course. Let's do a final look at at Zacian. Do the crown version. So, with its stat status moves. Look, it does get iron iron defense, but I don't really see much point using it. It's, it's better as a, like a sweeping Pokemon. Agility is not much point. Uh, we've, got we've got to have a sub and sword dance. They can Obviously, sword dance is bread and butter. Sub can be handy at getting that sword dance set up on a potential spot. Uh, no reason to use how then unless you're memeing and yeah, we got quick guard, misty train, and in prison. We talked about a prison already, but that's kind of a gimmicky, more of a gimmicky set. Uh, physical moves, uh, behemoth blade, bread and butter, uh, body slam, not much use you. I'd say for fighting moves, I'd, I'd use close combat or sacred sword. that would go for that. Uh, we got crunch, very, very handy move there too. Also has a 20% uh, chance to drop the defense. So say you've come across a Pokemon you don't have a sword dance variant or you've got like an unaware Pokemon and you want to try and get around them, that can be kind of handy as well. Um, or you just, you're just not an unaware Pokemon, just another Pokemon that's very, very bulky and you can't get around it. They're like very, very defensively bulky. Might be good to have Run Crunch there. 
And then we've got Fire Fang, Ice Fang. Not really much point running them, I'd say. Uh, Iron Head, well, well, that goes into the Behemoth. Um, we've got Play Rough. Yeah, Poison. These are, these are more gimmicky kind of things here. Wild Charge isn't bad for Don Dozo. It can be a pain. Trailblaze, I don't really see much point running Trailblaze. Unless you want... Unless you're trying to get a four times weakness to grass or something like that. Or, or you want to try and boost its speeds very fast anyway. And yeah, you've got some other memes here as well. So that's it for its uh, its physical attacks. I think we went over its... We went over its status already. Yeah, we went over its status. I'm trying to think of some any other extra uh, advice I could uh, possibly give. Maybe... We got Arceus in the game now too. So what, what sort of Arceus... I'm trying to think of like any types of Arceus that could be... And like a good counter as well. Um, probably, maybe like ground or steel could be a problem as well. So maybe they're miscounters. Um, it it kind of depends on what move set you're. Or so, sorry, uh, what uh, rule set you're playing as well. So maybe maybe ground could be annoying too, like Arceus ground or steel. So maybe they'd be another teammate or counter on top of that. Like Arceus can be very very good with so many different types there. One day I'll do an Arceus video, but we'll have to go over like every single type. It's going to be quite a long video, an interesting video for sure there. Um, I don't think there's... I'm trying to think of some... How about some other bulky legendaries? Um, Ting Lu. So we've got Ting Lu. That's not a bad teammate either, because that can set up a lot of entry hazards like uh, Spikes and uh, Stealth Rock. So that could help Zacian get a lot of KOs too. So that could definitely be... Um, a very good um, like partner for it and things like that. So that would that could help. They could turn like uh, two hit KOs into one hit KO. So I would definitely have that as a, a, a viable partner as well for sure. Uh, Groudon, we already mentioned Groudon as, as well being a good uh, counter and a good partner too. Oh, Coridon, Coridon actually isn't a bad. Um, so Coridon actually is a good partner because I'd say Coridon as a good partner there. Uh, you could run the Sword Dance. Even a Bandit or Scarf variant would actually be pretty good too so for Coridon. Maridon wouldn't be bad either. So there's Maridon. Actually, the good thing about um, the good thing about it having uh, that Fairy type, it resists that uh, those Dragon moves from Maridon too. So Maridon could be good. Also, Maridon's not a bad partner to have in your team because it gets around annoying stuff like. Um, like the like like say like Corviknight or Skelly Dirge. that could be kind of good to get around that, especially Corviknight. So that could uh, that could be good too as a partner. Um, they're very very good Pokemon for sure. But yeah, that's uh, I feel like that's pretty much it. I think I've done a pretty thorough job of explaining the move sets for it. Um, you know, we've gone over singles, doubles, VGC sets, counters, teammates, uh, other options, some memes and stuff like that. But yeah, that. I think that's a pretty thorough guide there. Hope you enjoyed this one, people. I did do a Zama Zena one already. If you're new here, if you found this, I have done a playlist on all the Pokemon. Check it out. Um, I constantly do them. I try and do a couple each week. If there's any ones you'd like to see, if there's any other uh, stuff you'd like to add to the video, please put it in the comment section. I always like to hear suggestions and thoughts and stuff thrown around there. And if you found it enjoyable and helpful, drop a like, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out, people.